Your favorite movie wouldn't exist without this toy. Let me explain. The phenakistoscope was invented in 1832. It was the first device to ever produce a fluid illusion of motion and ultimately led to the development of the film and animation technology that we know today. You can make a simple phenakistoscope at home by downloading one of the free animation discs from the link in the description. Print it onto some cardstock, cut it out, and tack it through the center to a pencil eraser. To see the animation, face a mirror, spin the disc, and look at the disc's reflection through the slots along the edge as it spins. Now this will get the job done, but I want to make something a little more durable. After a while on my computer, I pooped this guy out. It uses a regular 608 ball bearing in the center of the main disc. The squared disc guide ensures that the animation disc always gets placed in the correct orientation for viewing. The knob clamps the disc in place, and the handle here makes it super comfortable to hold. Let's print it and put it together. To assemble your phenakistoscope, first pop in the ball bearing, then glue the disc guide into the square hole on the front of the main disc. Glue the axle reinforcement into the small hole on the back of the axle arm. Glue the axle arm into the handle and insert the axle into the bearing. Finally, screw the knob onto the front of the disc. Now that we have our phenakistoscope, let's get to animating. I'm using Procreate's animation feature to make this animation. Now, I'm not much of an animator, but after some experimentation, I think I've figured out how to best animate the disc. Since our disc has 12 slots, the animation needs to be 12 frames. Small details tend to get lost in the phenakistoscope, so bigger, more dramatic movements work best. Once I've finished the animation, I'll bring all the layers into a new document. I'll move each of the frames of the animation into each of the 12 sections around the disc. Now that we have our 3D printed phenakistoscope assembled and our disc animated, it's time to try it out. Keep in mind, this is made for your eyes, so it looks much better in person than on camera. So click that link in the description and download the files to make one and see for yourself. If you're interested in learning more, I found a really cool interactive presentation online about the early history and development of moving picture technology. Navigate your way through simulations of the original experiments and devices that started the whole moving picture revolution. You can find the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more illusions and optical oddities.